Hey guys, I'm back again. This is probably going to be part 5 of mastering and drawing the head and face. And plus, I'm going to add in some figure drawing also. So it's going to be uh, a little bit of everything. So I'm going to be showing you and some stuff that I've been observing from YouTube. And uh, stuff that I've been practicing. And stuff that I've been um, drawing lately. So let's get going. Um, I'll show you a little bit of everything. So first I gotta fix the the phone so I could behold a little bit better. Make it like this, I think. Okay. Because I gotta kinda like make it work for the camera angle. So you'll be seeing the video a little bit kind of like slanted, so it's not gonna be perfect, perfect. Unfortunately, um, I got a, I don't have a professional camera, so bear with me. So where did I leave uh, left over? So I showed you pretty much of my latest drawings, I think. Um, there was some of the stuff that I didn't show you. I think it was this one. Okay, going back, um, we're drawing the correct proportions of the face. And that's what I want to show you guys. Um, um, drawing the correct proportions of the face. And that's very important, drawing the cor uh, correct proportions. Um, you just can't draw a face by, <clears throat> you know, starting out with an eye here, then a nose here, then everything has to do with shapes and circles and ovals, just like I explained on uh, my other video. And uh, that's the same thing when you're drawing hands. Uh, I'm not very good doing hands, but I'm getting a little better uh, doing hands. And um, <clears throat> as you see, this is a, a beautiful friend that I have from Facebook. She's from Spain. And um, I think her name, her name is Kansi, something like that. Uh, she's a model, and uh, my greatest guess is uh, I think she's probably mixed because she looks very, very European, very Nordic, blue eyes, very beautiful woman. Um, she might be Polish, and in Spain there's a lot of, you know, a lot of Europeans living there, including Swedish people and uh, people from... France also live in Spain, so very beautiful woman. Um, so I did a, a drawing of her, and um, what I did was I did her sort of like comic book style. And uh, I made sure that when I drew her face, um, you know, this side of the face is going to be less, and this side of the face is going to be more. You're going to see more on this side of the face, and this side is going to be less. And I think I drew her really well. She was pretty happy about it. Um, again, I'm not very good, um, drawing from reference. I need a lot of practice drawing from reference. And the one that that's really good, which I mentioned before is Abdon, Abdon J. Romero. He's very good drawing from reference and other artists like Steve Legaspi and, uh, Justin Mass. But my thing is drawing just, you know, um, comic book stuff, you know, fantasy art and all that stuff. Mutants, superheroes and all that stuff. So um, that's my thing. But I should practice uh, drawing from reference. This is another beautiful friend that I have from Facebook. Um, and her name is Diana. Um, it's okay, but I still think that Maybe the proportions are not quite, quite that good. I don't know. I Sometimes I see these things in my drawings that makes, you know, I know the hair is coming out a little bit better. Um, the way I did her face came out really good. It's just something here that does not look right. I don't know what it is. Um, possibly that when I made her lips tuckered a little bit in more, <clears throat> and maybe that's what it is. It could be that, 
that I, when I made her lips uh, tuckered in a little bit more. So um, this part of the face wasn't very easy because the hair was covering um, the, the this this side of the face over here. So it was covering this side. So that one, this part didn't come out so right. So I got kind of lost when I did the uh, the side view. Now I could always fix this, but I gotta you know look at her face again. Um, I can analyze where the cheekbone would be. Her cheekbone would be here. Her hair falls down this way. And then her jaw, maybe. Maybe I could fix the jaw just a little bit better like that. I think that's more better. And trust me, you will see these mistakes. You know, these mistakes... You will see all these mistakes, and it's not easy. You know, it's just everything takes a lot of practice. So I think it came out a little better now. So just add a little bit of shade on her eyes. And just fix a little bit her lips underneath. So way, way better, I think. So going to, this one I already showed you already, so let's skip that, let's skip this, let's skip that. And I think I showed you this one already, and I showed you guys this one, this one, this one. Yeah, I think I should, showed you all these, except this one. No, I think I did this one already, yeah. Alright, so let's go with learning how to do faces again. I got some more stuff to show you. Um, as you can see, these are you know techniques that I actually dotted down. Uh, we're going to start with the front view. It's a step-by-step -step process by using the oval and by starting out with the eyebrows and indicating where the side of the eyebrows are. That that's where we're going to set the eyes. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's start doing this one hopefully the camera angle works here and let's focus this a little better there you go so we're going to start with an oval vertical line and this would be the eye line right here It'll be in the center of the oval, sort of like an egg shape. I'm going to erase a little bit this over here. Then I'm going to do the eyebrow line on top. Then I'm going to do a hint of the eyebrows right there. And then I'm going to indicate the sides of where the eyes are, sort of like the temples where the eyes are going to be at. Then I'm going to start visualizing where my nose line should be placed at. It should be right in the center where the egg, where the oval is. As I'm doing this, I'm going to be shaping, you know, the oval into a head shape. Then the mouth line should be here, right between, between the nose and the chin line. Always remember, you could always add a the top of the chin line right here. That could actually help you out. So, so far, it's not exactly uh, a total face because I still got to add the features and the shape of the face. Now, I'm going to do the hairline right here. Bring it in, taper in all the way to where the temple, where the planes of the forehead is. Then I'm going to start um, working with the features. Well, I'll start with the nose first. The corners of the nose. A hint of the eyes. You can do circles for the eyes if you want. 
that actually help you do the shape of the eyes better. But make sure that you have an eye here in the middle, an imaginary eye there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start um, shaping the face. Taper in where the mouth line is right here, all the way to where the chin is. So, from there on, I'm going to start doing, you know, the nostrils, the corner of the nose, work my way with the mouth. Add the planes or the cheekbones, whatever you want to call it, right here. And now I can add the ears. And uh, the neck. And we can add the eyes. Always remember the planes in the center where the nose is. They just come out like that. So what you're doing is something like this. This is the, the nose right here. The bridge of the nose. The center of the nose. Okay. And then the eyes are over here, right? The eyes start over here. So... There's sort of like a plane lines that come out like that. That would be, you know, in the center of where the nose is. And then the eyes, which I explained before in the other video, you just do the, um, the top of the eyes. And that's it okay so that's another good way of doing a front view then after that once you have the features done you start working with the eyebrows cheekbones the creases where the corner of the nose is the nose is sorry and you start indicate man there's a mosquito trying to attack me here and we can start rendering you know, the jaw better, give it shape. You could actually, you know, um, tighten in the pencil. Someone is trying to communicate with me. I don't know who it is. Let me see who it is. Let me see. It's just something else. All right. Okay. I should have put my phone on plane mode. That way I won't get disturbed. So that worked out pretty well. All you got to start is step by step the oval, the uh, a hint of the eyebrows, and you indicate the planes of the side of the eyes right here. And um, little by little, you start uh, shaping the shape of the face, like you see over here. And then you add the features. Now we're going to do um, this technique right here. And this technique actually comes from a good artist, uh, which I forgot his name, but the um, the site is called Soda. I don't know why they call it Soda Official School of Arts or something like that. So you can look it up. It's I actually uh, subscribed, so you should be in my uh, subscription if you want to see further more about this artist. He's really good. 
All right, so we're going to continue with this technique. And uh, let's use this part of the page. Same thing, oval. Vertical line. A horizontal line for the eyes. And we're going to shape that oval in sort of like a face shape. You know, like we're going to have to make, we'll make that shape of a head. So we're going to do the same thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the, the planes of the side of the head. Which it goes right near the corner of the eyes. Right here. And that's where you're going to place the eyes. And then we'll do a line for the um, eyebrow. And then we'll work, work our way down, nose line right here, mouth line. And we're going to make this face look up, you know, it's just, it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to make this face look up a little bit, slightly up. And the chin should be right around here. So, um, once you have that done, um, you're going to do sort of like a, a circle, an oval circle for the front part of the head. Right here would be the, the hairline right here. And then we're not going to do the eyes yet. What we're going to do is we're going to frame out where the, um, the cheekbones are going to be at. So the cheekbones should be right around here. And it's pretty much like uh, my first uh, early video when I did this. It's almost the same thing like this. You're going to notice that every method that you come up across with looks kind of slightly the same. And then we're going to do um, sort of like the inner core of where the eye sockets are. Kind of like the bone shape of where the eye is going to be placed at. And from right here, since we have this shape right here, we're going to go do down and do the jaw. Right there. And the ear, since the face is looking upward a little bit, slightly, We'll bring the ears slightly a little bit down, like here. Although, just a little bit down. Then we're going to start making, you know, the bottom of the nose look up a little bit. And that's not easy to do. That takes a lot of practice. And then the eyes will fall right around here. Lips, the bottom of the lip, and the chin, and then the neck. Always remember that when you're drawing a woman, the woman, the neck of a woman is more slender, is more smaller, very feminine. You know, so you always have to keep that in mind that when you're drawing faces or heads, the neck has to be a little bit slender. So so we got the top of the head done. So, so far that came out pretty good. So that's this technique right here. So you can actually... Um, follow step by step. I actually posted this on my art, um, my art group. So you might be able to be able to see this. I'm not really sure if I did post this or not, but I'll double check it just in case. Now we're going to do with a three quarter view and this is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to do the three quarter view and let's probably use the back page for this. Cause I don't want to waste too much paper.
So this is almost like the Loomis technique, but just a little bit different. Um, it's like you're shaping the circle on top and you're forming the bottom of the circle, which is going to be the jaw part. It doesn't look like a jaw yet because you're going to be shaping it later on. So then we have the vertical line for the center of the face right here. And then the horizontal line, which is going to be the eye line right here. Always keep in mind that the eyebrow line, just like the Loomis technique, is going to be here. So if you want, you could do, you know, just to get it over with, do that eyebrow line right there. And then again, just like um, over here and the other videos that I've done, always remember the side plane of the head. While you're at it, you're doing the circle at the same time, just like the Loomis method. You're going to add the nose line and the mouth line and the chin line should fall right here. So what's next? What we're going to do is we're going to indicate once we have this, we'll be able to see where we're just going to make a round line, just like the Loomis technique, and that would be the jaw right here. So the jaw should be falling down this way. And instead of working with the, with the features and the eyes, the nose and all that, what I want to do is I'm going to do pretty much what the guy was doing before. Um, he started working with the frame of, of the face, which is the, um, the contour of the side of the face right here, all the way down to the chin, all the way to the top, the hairline, and then you can add the cheekbone right here. And add the, uh, the oval for the ears. And now you can start working with the nose contour. You, you know, use the uh, triangle shape if you want. Add the eyes, the corner of the nose, add the other eye, and there you go, that's, uh, please excuse the background noise because, uh, like always, people make a lot of noise. If I hit the jackpot one day, I would probably get the hell out of here. Trust me. This is not easy. All right, so... Um, you continue with the neck. Add the eyebrows, the mouth, and that's it. That's uh, this technique over here that actually works out fine. And also this technique, I actually, all these techniques over here actually works out fine. Also, all you got to do is like follow the steps the way I did it. And what's good about my videos is, even though my videos are not perfect, but everything is slow and you get to learn it step by step, slowly. We got all these other videos and all these other artists that actually have the best equipment and they do all these fast videos that you can't even understand it. Um, so that's a good thing about me because I like to show, I'm not a professional teacher, but I like to show the way it's done the right way, the correct way, the slow, the slower is more better. You know what I mean? Because that's the um, the better way to learn, step by step. And because if you do things too fast, things will go really bad. So we're going to do this one right here to see how this works out. 
This is also by Sato. Um, maybe I might skip this one because it's, it's almost similar to the one I did before. So let's do another one. Let's do um, figure drawing now. We'll do some figure drawing. Remember, we're going to do faces and figures. So these could be done for superheroes and, uh, you know, fantasy art like uh, Frank Vazetta would do. So we're going to start, you know, with gesture line. And uh, like always, we uh, do sort of like the contour, sort of like a bean shape. So sort of like an hourglass shape. And uh, we add the balance line. From that balance line, um, you start doing gesture lines for the legs all the way down to the feet. And uh, of course, this one, this, this is going to be a running pose. And this arm going back. And uh, say this arm is coming frontward, like like sort of like foreshortening. And I always leave the head for last, you know. So you know, I always leave the head for last. So let me waste this just a little bit. <clears throat> so um, what you what you do here is that you I'm going to do this in pen, and I'm not going to finish the uh, you know the drawing or anything like that. Because what I want to show you guys is the process of doing gesture and figure drawing. So it's not going to be totally finished. Uh, maybe I'll do a little hint, uh, but it's not going to be finished. We're just doing, you know, gestures and the construction of the figure. So we have the gesture here and um, we form it into, you know, you could you actually use two shapes. You know, you could do the oval or you could do the bean shape like that. So like a pillow sack. And then the balance line. Balance line. And then you do gesture lines coming from the pelvic area, the hip area. Shoulder line, shoulder contour. Uh, gesture line for the arm and the bottom of the arm, the forearm. Right here is foreshortened. That. And then you could, you know, I'm going to finish a little bit of it, you know, to be fair and square. We'll do the uh, V shape here. That's going to be for the crotch area. And then we'll do very lightly lines contour. That's the way I do my figures. I do contour. Right here, since the leg is coming at you, I'm going to do sort of like an oval cylinder shape. Like that. You know, so all the way to the front. The leg is coming at me. Let me put a shirt on because there's a mosquito biting me, my lord. I can't stand mosquitoes. I don't know how this mosquito got in here, but it, it did. And uh, I wear my long shirt so that way uh, the mosquitoes won't bite me. So, okay, so now we got the contour of the body done. Right here, the contour, the bottom of her leg. And uh, we add more details by adding breast. And that's it. So... That's this over here. We start off with an oval and then we add the balance line and then we add, you know, the gesture lines for the legs. Now we're going to try this one. This is another one that I observed, but I had to like, you know, slow the, the video in order to get this because it wasn't easy to do so. I have to slow it down so and then, uh, we're gonna start this way and then the cont the gesture line
everything, when you're drawing finger, you know, figure drawing, everything has to do with contour. Uh, contour and gesture lines. First, the gesture line and the three parts of the body, which is one, two, and three, the head. And then the rest, <coughs> excuse me, will um, start taking place. So let's do this again. We'll start out with the gesture line, <coughs> the three parts of the body. And then the legs. And then the head for last. Okay. Now we're going to do this one over here. Um, we're going to go back with the face again. We're going to do another three quarter view. And let's see if I have space to do it over here. So again, we'll do an oval shape. Sort of like a half pear shape, something like that. Okay. So we'll start doing the vertical line and a horizontal line for the eyes. <clears throat> horizontal line. And this time the lines are going to go extended backward, back more, further back. So, so this one is going to be a little bit different. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the line for the, you know, below the cheekbone over here. The, uh, the cheekbone over here on this side. And this one is going to be a little bit different now. And what was the third one I did? Let me see. Um, oh, yeah. The line for the eyebrow line, which is going to be a third. So I'm going to actually mark this here. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to do this in ink so you guys can see it because sometimes penciling you can't really see pretty much what I'm doing here. We start over here, number one, number two, this cheekbone over here, and then we start doing the eyebrow line here, and number three right there. So okay. now we got sort of like a three-quarter view. So what do we do next? What we do next is we'll start doing this line over here, which is going to be the um, contour, sorry, the uh, the plane of the side of the head. And then we can start adding the nose. And let me write this down just in case, uh, because I want to do this correct, because I want to do it in my construction book. One, two, this should be three. Let's see what else. Oh, let me see. And this should be four. And this should be five. Okay. That's what. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it this time. One, two, three, the eyebrow line. Four, the nose. And five, the side plane of the head. So once you have all these segments done, the ears will be placed right around here, which you're going to see the ears. You're going to start, you know, seeing the ears on this side. And then we'll start doing the side of the, the side view. And we have the three-quarter view right there, see? And you could, if you want, you could shade the side of the face uh, into... That way you could actually find out the dimension of the face, you know. That actually works out. 
Okay, so now we're going to go on with uh, this technique right here. I'm going to show you. Um, so little by little, we'll start with a gesture again. And we'll start the bean shape. Gesture lines for the arms, gesture lines for the legs, gesture lines for the other leg over here. So it's like a bean shape. Bean shape form, but mostly this is going to be for like a woman's body. If you were to do this for a man, just be careful. You want to make that bean shape look more, a little bit more narrower or something like that, like a pillow shape pillow sack if you were to do a male um, figure so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out lines from the bottom part of the bean shape just bring it out like that coming in from the inside out like that try to visualize the shape of you know the leg <clears throat> and I'm doing this for my head if you want, you can use reference. Um, and then do the, uh, the arm. And the hand should be right here on this side right here. And uh, right there, we got the... Do that. We le always leave the head for last. And I, that's what I do. I usually leave the head for last. Some people would actually start the head, but I always leave the head for last. So we got the shape, the shape of a, a gesture form of a body. So, so what do we do next? We start um, shaping. Here's the belt, belt line. A V shape for the crotch area. And little by little, we start forming the shape of her body. The arm. If we want, we can make a fist. Like she's throwing a punch. Of course, you know, this is sort of like an action pose that I'm doing. So from there, from this, this technique, from this technique. From this, it's a, from the finish, from the finished drawing that you see over here. So it's not com a complete finished drawing. Like I said, it's not going to be uh, everything finishes. I'm just giving you a hint how you actually do a gesture and a fi uh, figure construction. So, all right, now we're going to go again with the face. As we go along, we're going to start um, this technique over here, and this one I saw by Sato. Um, and this one is mainly done for like portrait, you know, portrait drawing. It could be used for a comic book if you want. I start out with the shape of the face using an oval. And, uh, I'm going to kind of visualize where the eye line is going to be here and the nose line should be here. Do the eyebrow line here, the nose line right here, then the mouth line. So always remember that when you're doing the vertical line for the center of the face, the eye line starts here, and then you can start doing the eyebrow line here, and you could do the nose line. And see what happens. All you have to do is do a triangle like that, see? And you'll see that it's a correct triangle right there, so... So let's erase that. But I'm just giving you another another idea how to do, you know, the proportions from the uh, eyebrow line to the nose line. So, and a chin line should fall right here. So, so we got the eye line here. And the next thing I'm going to start working on is the nose. Let's start working with the nose, all the way to the bottom of the nose and start working with the 
eyebrows. Oh, of course, that mosquito again. Mm. The other eyebrow here. And the planes of inside where the uh, center of the eye is. Another way of also doing the lips too, you could do this. You could um, do a diamond shape like that. Halfway diamond shape like that. And then little by little, Work from the center, the top, bird shape, then you uh, finish the bottom of the lip. A diamond shape, it actually works out like that. It actually works out for doing lips. Okay, so now I'm going to start doing more planes on the face. Because really, when you're doing the planes, it actually helps you build the face more better. It gives it more better construction. So I'm going to start doing the planes of the face all the way down to the chin. And then now I could start from the top of the head, the hairline here. I could start little by little, you know, slowly rendering, refining the shape of the face and the neck of a woman is going to be slender so this technique that i'm showing it could be done for you know the male and the female if you want to draw a female this will be good for it or a male this really doesn't matter Every technique is good for both gender, you know, both uh, genders. But just make sure that the female is more different from the male. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. And then we start adding hair. We go back to the nose. Refine the nose a little bit better, the lips a little bit better. And then we go up from the corner of the nose, we go up and we can start drawing the eyes. Right? So it's not going to be a finished <clears throat> a finished drawing, it's just the construction of it. So here's another one. <clears throat> this one is like a shortcut. And again, I have to like slow down the because mostly these videos on YouTube time lapse doesn't work for me. So I have to like slow down the video if I'm learning how to draw faces or figures. Um, I have to slow down the video. And many there's a lot of tutorials that do not slow down the videos. They they do time lapse. So what I did here is. Um, I started out working with the planes of the, the form of the face, which is the shapes, the planes right here. Kind of render in the face a little bit, bring it in just a little bit. And then from there on, I started working with the bridge of the nose all the way down to the bottom of the nose. And the chin. And this is done a lot by um, by Loomis and uh, also by um, by uh, <clears throat> Abdon J. Romero. I see um, that he does this technique. He uses a lot of planes to form the uh, the head and the face. I advise everybody to check out his channel um, or his Facebook profile he draws beautiful
And once you have the uh, the planes, the nose done, easily you could actually add add in the eyes right there. See, you could work with this side of the face first, and then the other side of the face. And you have the eyebrows. Then the neck, from where the corner of the eye. That's mostly would be more the length of a woman's neck. It's more slender, more feminine, slightly, probably a little longer. And that's more of a woman's neck. Okay, so now we're going to go on with figure drawing. And uh, that'll be it because um, I'm running out of batteries. So I want to... But little by little, I will show you every page of my construction book. Um, it depends on on the battery and on the storage on the phone. So this 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 will probably be the last demonstration I'm going to show you guys. So on figure drawing, this is more like a classical comic book style. You start off again with a gesture. the balance line and then slightly you're going to start building the shape of her body so I'm going to do this in ink so you can see this more clear the balance line right there and then we add sort of like a good guitar shape or a hourglass shape for the woman's body. And from where that balance line is, you're going to do the V-shape for the crotch area. And from the V-shape to the hip area, that's where you're going to bring the bones out and do the, the bone structure gesture of her legs and say she's doing a sexy pose the head I always leave for last again and uh, she's leaning on something like a big table or something so that's all you got to do all you got to start is the three basic elements of the figure drawing is which is the um, actually four the gesture the torso the pelvic area and then the head and the rest you will see little by little it will start taking place the form of her body the gesture of her body goes you know you start doing the contour afterwards you start doing the shape of her body and uh, little by little Her body starts taking shape. Now, this one right here um, is slightly something like this, but a little bit different because you're actually doing the shape of her body, which is sort of like an hourglass shape, like that. And then you do the uh, balance line. Again, the V shape. And then... The line, this time you're not going to do a bone shape um, leg. You're going to do lines coming out, coming out like this. There's a book that I got. Um, let me show you. Uh, it shows you a perfect demonstration of the classical way of how they draw the... Uh... Let's go, let's do it on this page right here. I'm going to show you right here. This book, um, this is also another good book you guys should get. It's called Action Hero Construction Book. Let me show you the cover of the book. Action Hero Construction Book. And uh, I had to get it again because I lost it. Um, so you can see, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to the uh, camera. 
and focus this a little bit because unfortunately it doesn't really look that good. See, see the gesture, see the movement of the gesture starts out with um, everything basic uh, gesture lines for the, uh, the legs and that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to do the woman's body. And this is mostly done for comic book art and comic book uh, figure drawing and stuff. So we have the torso. And then we do the balance line for the, um, how do you call it, for the, the leg. But then again, you could do it this way. I think this is more practical, more better. You do the uh, gesture line and you do the form of her body. The V-shape. And then you could do the balance line. And then do, do the lines for the legs. Another line for the other part of the leg. And a hint of her shoulder over here. Gesture lines coming out for her arms. Notice that this artist, I think it was uh, Frank Springer that did this illustration. He used uh, like half of the figure, you know, the, the gesture of the figure. He actually used contour, but then again, he on the bottom part, he did gesture lines for the legs. You can see the same thing over here. He did um, the outline of the arm, the outline of the figure here. Then he did gesture lines coming out, which I'm going to do that also for the man. But first, we're going to finish the woman. And I'm going to do this in ink so you guys could see it more clear. Good. Let's focus this a little better. And then the head, we leave it for last. So that's a perfect um, way how to do a, a classic comic book style gesture, especially if you want to do a figure, you know, for a comic books and stuff. So now we're going to do the contour of her body. I might not do it the same as this, but I'll probably do it the way I would do it. So let's um, start with her, the top. I work my way down, add some breasts, fix this arm a bit, add some hair, her waistline here, the belt line, and then start shaping just a little bit, you know, like a little outline to form the rest of the body. There you go. So that's the proper way in doing the classical style. I've seen this done by a whole bunch of comic book artists. They actually start out. And just to make it simple, we're going to do a flat drawing. We're going to do the torso right there. And then we'll do the shape of her hip area, the V shape. And then you do the balance line and start doing the lines in between the hip line. And that's it. It's very simple. It's just it, everything takes time and it takes a lot of practice, especially when you're doing this technique. So let's do the um, the male character, this um, this pose right here. We're going to do the same thing, but it's going to be a little bit different because the male his the body of the male is 
of course is a little bit um, different so we'll start with the gesture line the torso Let me see how he did it here. Okay. Like that. I'll do it in ink. So what we're going to do, instead of making that balance line, I noticed that he just threw out, made the line coming out out of the, uh, the pelvic area. I don't know if you can see that clear, but you can see the gesture line coming out from the uh, pelvic area right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. So there you go. That's the gesture for the uh, superhero guy. And then now we're going to do work with the contour, the form of his body. Very slowly, we do sort of outlines. You know, just take your time when you're rendering, when you're refining the body. Just take your time. Slowly, the body will start taking shape. This didn't come out so good. I gotta fix this part right here. Always uh, use reference when you're doing figure drawing also. It's the same thing when you're doing faces. It's always good to practice from reference. Once you learn the basics, all the methods, it's always important to use reference. I really highly recommend it that uh, reference is very important. And that's the only way that you can actually learn. So let's go on with the next, um, if I still have time, let me see. This is almost the same thing. Um, it's this. It's almost the same thing, but it's a little bit different. So we're gonna do this one right here. Everything has to do with gesture, balance lines, contour, form. We form the body. The V shape. And then the legs. And then you can start um, drawing the shape of her body.
And that's it. All right, guys, I, uh, my battery is like going really down. So I hope you enjoyed this segment and this um, tutorial. So just practice a lot. Just, you know, keep practicing, drawing. Everything takes time. You have to draw slowly and you have to, you know, take your time when you're drawing. Good luck with your artwork.